this is Candy from eyes2jesus.blogspot.com bringing you my June planner tour. And currently the planner I am in is this. This is a Filofax in the personal size. It's a domino and this is called their Lux Domino. It's got that kind of uh, quilted look, uh, quilted patent leather look. And it's got the elastic closure that makes it look like it's a traveler's notebook, but this is a uh, ring binder. So this is personal size, Filofax Domino, red, luxe. And I just, I love it. It's gorgeous. I was very excited when I was able to uh, get this, and I got it at quite a discount on a good sale. So, yay! All right, so going inside, when you first open it up, this is what you see. All right, so inside the flat pocket, flap pocket here, I got uh, an extra magnetic bookmark for when I need to clip something to a page. And then uh, I got some functional planner stickers, recollections. Behind that, I got some extra filler paper. Behind that, I have uh, a blank card in an envelope in case I need it. And then behind that, I just have a few folded up bills that are waiting to be paid. This page right here is uh, Agenda 52 from Hobby Lobby. It was actually a divider. I love this so much, I just snipped off the tab and made this into my welcome page. On the back of it, I just have washi on uh, our current uh, family picture. And then the next page is my dashboard. It's just some laminated scrapbook paper. Um, these two groups of sticky notes are from Walmart. And then on the other side, this top sticky notes from Walmart, and then these are just some of the Target dollar spot page flags that I still have left over that I'm still using up. And then after that, I have some pages, and they're held together with this uh, magnetic bookmark from Hobby Lobby, and I got a little tab sticking up at the top. This is where when I need to get something from the store, I write it down, and this is where my grocery list is when I need to get groceries. I don't need to get groceries. I actually just got some, so <laughs> this page is blank. But uh, I have a little top flag tab here to make it easy to turn to when I want to flip just to my grocery list page. So after that we come to my first divider. Uh, I have five main dividers and these dividers are Webster's Color Crush dividers and they are labeled with Carpe Diem labeled stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. So my first divider is labeled Home and this is my home making section. So inside Home I have my daily chores and on the other side, I got my children's cleaning chores and my children's table chores. And then after that, I got my deep cleaning and organization projects and then my emergency quick clean. And then I got my master grocery list. I have a little top flag tab here because if I grab it and turn to it, after that is my menu for the week. And I plan my breakfasts, lunches, and suppers, including their side dishes, not just the main meals. All right, and then after that, I have a list of um, breakfast, lunch, and supper ideas to help me when I put together my menu each week or if I need to uh, change up a meal really quick. So we got breakfast ideas, then lunch ideas, and supper ideas, which go for a few pages. After that, I have a little side flag here, which helps me turn to my recipes. And the recipes is what takes up the rest of my homemaking section. So my next divider is labeled school, and it looks like this. And this is my homeschool section. Um, we homeschool year-round, Monday through Thursday, taking Fridays off and taking the month of July completely off. Uh, but in the summer months, especially uh, once we get past Memorial Day, um, we're usually already done or just finishing up on textbooks like finishing up on math and the grammar and whatnot so school gets lighter uh, until July. And then in August, until July, we take July off and then in August we start the next school year. So I just have the first thing I said in my homeschool section are just some notes on, on some of the light homeschool that we're doing until July. And then this was our homeschool schedule that we were following up until uh, summer. And this is our curriculum chart on everything that they've been studying and learning in homeschool. Their subjects, what materials, uh, we've been using books, etc. And then we got their year-round reading lists and their year-round copywork assignments. 
And then I just have uh, several pages of lesson plans. That is what we were working on until we started finishing uh, certain textbooks. And now I mostly work off of the, the notes on the first page I just showed you in the school section. So we come to my next divider, which is labeled budget. And so as the label says, that's what it is. This is my budget section. So currently the first thing in my budget is a top loading pocket. And then I just got some papers and whatnot in here. And uh, I just got it inside this pretty um, scrapbook paper. All right. And then after that is my budget guide. And this just lists um, which reoccurring expenses we pay with which paycheck. Uh, and then after that, I just have various different types of uh, blank uh, note paper, such as like this. Uh, this one is uh, Agenda 52 from Hobby Lobby. It was on a notepad. This one you don't need to trim down. It's actually more narrow than a regular personal size paper. And the holes do line up, by the way. So I just took it off the notepad and popped it in, and I have several of these throughout. Um, it's nice thick paper if you uh, like to write with flares or um, pens that may bleed through other papers. Okay, so now we're going to go to my next section which is labeled Notes. And this is my notebook. So the first page in here is long-term project tracking and then I do short-term project tracking on my daily planning pages that you'll see in a little bit. The next page is my table of contents and I have numbered pages in this section up to this green tab I have sticking at the top and my numbered pages listed in my table of contents are gift ideas, kids grocery week checklist, stock list, perpetual calendar, family information and watchers parties. And then if I turn to the green tab, it brings me to my contacts, my uh, phone and address book essentially. And then I have a red tab sticking to the side and when I turn to my red tab, I just get uh, this page with those cute stickers on it and on the other side of that page is my brain dump. Um, for example, one of the things I was working on my brain dump, uh, we were at the doctor's the other day and I was in the waiting room. Um, please pray for my husband. He is fighting an active, widespread, impetigo skin infection. So um, thankfully his job is awesome and uh, he's on paid sick leave. And uh, so while we were at the doctor's and I was in the waiting room, I took out my purse Bible. Uh, if you haven't seen that Bible, you can see a glimpse of it in uh, my most recent What's in My Purse video. And I just started doing a Bible study on 1 Peter. So I turned to my brain dump section and I just started writing down some notes of my study while I was waiting in the waiting room. It was very edifying. It was very nice. Okay, and then uh, after my brain dump, I just have various, a variety of different uh, note pages for when I need a blank note page to move to anywhere else in my planner, then I can just grab it from here. Uh, so, for example, this paper here, again, this is Agenda 52. Uh, this beautiful paper uh, was from a magnetic uh, list pad from Hobby Lobby in their party section, and I just trimmed it shorter and punched it. I love using that type of paper. Um, and then I've got a blank Filofax paper. This is trimmed down magnetic list pad I think I got from the grocery store a year or two ago. And uh, then we got some grid Filofax paper, some uh, daytime or breast cancer awareness aligned paper, uh, and then it just goes through again. So I just got a variety of those different papers. So moving to my last main divider, it is labeled planning. So this is where we get to the essential planner part of my planner. All right, and then when you turn the page, we come to actually the front page of the Agenda 2018 for Kate Spade. The reason being is because that's got the Kate Spade 2018 and 2019 years at a glance, and I like those, so I have those in here. And then after that, I have several sheets of Kate Spade to-do list paper. And then after that we come to my months. I have all 12 months for 2018 in here, month on two pages. They are Franklin Cubby Seasons and the Franklin Cubby Compact Size, which is comparable to personal size. The holes line up. It's just Franklin Covey compact size, the pages are wider. They're even wider than Agenda 52 or Recollections personal size. So I've been just taking the Franklin Covey pages, I've been uh, cutting them slimmer, repunching them, popping them in, no big deal, just takes a few minutes. 
So this is June. This is my June month on two pages. All right, and I'm going to remove this now. That was anonymizing something personal. And if I turn to my today bookmark, I have all of the month of June day on two pages in here, Franklin Covey Seasons. And again, I have them trimmed more narrow and punched to better fit into my domino. And uh, I just keep one month at a time of day on two pages. So when I get to the end of June, I will take out the June and then I will put in July, etc. So here's the first page for today. And then we have this page marker. Oh, isn't that just super pretty? And the page marker is Agenda 52, personal size. And then we have my laminated master schedule, which is slit, so it pops in and out of the rings the same way the page marker does. And that's my master schedule, and it's double-sided. And then we have my second page for Dan 2 page, my note page. All right, so turning to blank Dan 2 pages, uh, here's what Franklin Covey compact size seasons looks like for June. Here's blank. So how I do this is uh, ABC prioritize daily task list. That's my to-do list and you prioritize it with ABC whatnot and then you check it off when it's done or exit out or put a dot because it's in process etc. Down here in daily trackers where I do short-term project tracking right now I'm using this to um, track some puppies that were puppy sitting and to track my husband's in Patigo. And then over here is appointments or schedules list. And I've been having to use this a lot because I haven't been able to uh, stick to my master schedule very much because there's too much stuff going on. So I've had to write a fresh schedule for each day for a while now. When I am sticking to my master schedule, I just write in appointments or just some of the major stuff here. Right, on the note page, uh, at the top, I uh, write down the breakfast, lunch, and supper that we have planned for the day that I'll look in my homemaking section for. I will look at the next day's meals and see if there's something I need to prep ahead of time. If so, I'll write that down here. And then generally, most days, I will then also write a list of my daily chores and my children's daily chores from the homemaking section. Um, and then down here, I leave open to do micro to-do lists because a lot of times I'll have something to do here and then I'll break it up into smaller steps here. Uh, it's like eating an elephant. I list the one bite at a time here, and I list the elephant here. So that's basically how I've been using these, and they're fabulous. All right, so after all of the planning calendars and whatnot, I have a piece of paper here that I can't show you. It's just some lined Filofax paper, and I have it labeled at the top, Future Planning 2019 Plus. And I already have two things for January 2019, one thing for March 2019, and one thing for May in 2019. So turning past that, we then come to a, a zipper pouch with some pink flamingos on it, and this is Agenda 52. I only made one uh, tweak to this zipper pouch. It had an actual zipper on it, which I liked, but it made my planner clothes weird, and it, it was like it was going to mess up my paper. I just blooped, just kind of took the zipper off. It wasn't that hard. And then I stuck on a, a pink Avery label right there. So now this closes and opens like a Ziploc bag. But I have the pink Avery label there so it won't close there. Because if you close it completely top to bottom like a Ziploc bag, this thing seals hard and it's very hard to open. So by having that little sticker there, it can't seal there. And I can get my fingernail in there and then unzip it. So and then in here, I just have um, cardstock with washi tape, uh, a few business cards, um, whole reinforcement stickers, Avery dots, Avery labels etc. Okay and then after that I have my back page lifter. As you can see it has various tabs, flags and labels on it. And then we come to my back pocket. So in my back pocket uh, I have some uh, financial, 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 um, one of my stickers are attacking me. <laughs> I, have the fi I have some financial planning stickers. Um, I think they're Agenda 52 but I'm not sure. I got them from Hobby Lobby. And then behind those, I have some more extra filler paper. And behind that, I just got some folded up pieces of paper that I eventually need to get around to doing something with. Meanwhile, they can stay in there, and that's fine. And then in my pen loop, I am using a Pilot V5, right? Yeah, Pilot Precise V5 Extra Fine in the black. It looks and writes like a felt tip, but it's like a super fine uh, ballpoint type pen, but it doesn't skip or thin out nearly as much as standard ballpoint pens do, and it looks like it was written with felt tip. The ink is really rich, so these have been my favorite pens. 
So, and also they will write on labels and washi, but uh, you have to give it uh, about 30 seconds or so to dry or it's going to smudge. Once it's dried, you're good. So, yeah, this concludes my planner tour. Um, I'm really enjoying this. Look how stuffable this domino is. It comes with one inch rings, but look how stuffable that is. And that's because it's inherent in the design. I can really stuff those flap pockets. And as you have noticed, I keep a lot of extra filler paper in both pockets because I don't ever want to be running out of paper. Uh, and then I have stickers in them and whatnot too. So you can see it's nice and stuffable. Something I like about the dominoes is it kind of lays flat. These aren't, the covers aren't bumping up in a way or doing some weird, weird shape. So I really like that. I have been wanting a personal size domino lux for quite a while now. Um, from what I've seen, these are available in red, purple, and blue. Red is my favorite color. So I'm very happy to finally have this. It came to me all the way from the UK and I got it a day early. And uh, I got this one brand new for $29. So is that a good deal or what? And I am really enjoying it. So this concludes my June planner tour. I would love it if you would share your planner with me. So if you have a planner, make a tour, put in a video, and share that video with me in a link in the comments of this video. So I've got a lot of stuff to get done. It's summer. I'm busy. Have a blessed day.